Good morning. We will pay attention to credit purchases and returns to creditors. Purchase goods on credit from Soweto stores with a normal sales price of 1800 and then we receive trade discount of 10%. Suppliers will encourage people to buy in bulk and then they will give them trade discount so that you pay less if you buy in bulk. So instead of paying 1800 we receive 10% discount. So our actual purchase price is 1620 If you return goods and they say that the, uh, you return it before the trade discount was taken into account, it means that you also have to deduct the trade discount because they will not give you back the full price. You didn't pay for the full price. They reduced the price with 10%. So if we return any of these goods, we will deduct the trade discount and that means we return goods that cost us 324 rand. In the general ledger, we will indicate that the inventory increased with 1620 because assets increase on the debit side and decrease on the credit side. And the creditors that is a liability increases on the credit side with 1620 When we return the goods, we will indicate that we owe the creditors less money, so we will debit our creditors to reduce our debt. We return inventory, so we have less inventory, therefore we have to credit the inventory. In the accounting equation, when we buy the goods, we will indicate that inventory asset increases on the debit side. So assets will increase with the price after the trade discount was deducted. The account credited will be creditors control because we owe money to them. The liabilities will increase. When we buy goods on credit, we will receive a credit invoice and we will record it in the creditors journal. When we return goods, we have to indicate that the creditors must decrease because we owe less money, so my liabilities will decrease. I will credit the inventory account to reduce the inventory. Because we return goods, my inventory are less, so my assets will decrease with 324. A credit note will be received from your creditor as an indication that they are prepared to reduce your account and that will be recorded in the creditor's allowances journal. So what did we learn? When trade discount is received and when goods are purchased, the trade discount must be deducted and you will not record the trade discount. You will record the amount that you calculated after the trade discount was deducted because that is the amount that you owe to the creditors and that is your actual purchase price. When a credit note is received, the credit note will show the amount after the trade discount was taken into account. So they can either tell you that the goods were returned before the trade discount was taken into account, then you will have to deduct the trade discount from the price that you paid for it when you return the goods. If they say we receive a credit note and they give an amount on the credit note, this amount will be after the trade discount was taken into account.